Hello everyone, welcome here to Musician's Edition. I'm Evan, I'm the guitar here as always. And in this video, I'm gonna be diving into chord progressions, and we're gonna be focusing on the most common chords that you do see on guitar. We're gonna pick out four of those and practice doing some chord progressions with those. So we're gonna practice just transitioning between those chords, adding some strumming patterns in there, and seeing if we can stay in time while we switch between these chords. So all great skills to be practicing, and since we're gonna be talking about chord progressions, that's what I've been doing in some recent videos, I figured why not pick out the most common chords that we play on guitar so you guys can get the applicable practice of playing some of these chords and playing them in their most common voicings, while we're gonna be sticking with ones that are pretty easy to play. There's just one in here that I think sticks out as being a bit harder than the others. We're picking out three that are just in the cage system, our most common group of chords. We're gonna throw in an F as well too to add it in there and we're gonna look at three of the most common chord progressions you will come across on the guitar. And some you might recognize from songs that are really popular because these are really common and they still sound pretty good when you play them together while being relatively easy to play as well too. All right, so let's get into it. So our four chords we're going to be looking at is we're going to have a C major, G major, A minor, and F major. So four very common chords to be playing on the guitar. And what we're going to be doing is making a four chord loop. And so chord progressions are played on the guitar and every instrument as well too. They're, they're most frequently played with just four chords that are going to be played on a repeat, either throughout the entire song or throughout certain sections of that song that are going to carry it through. So we're going to be looking at three of those here today, and one of those, for example, is going to be a C, A minor, F, and G chord progression. We're just going to be playing those four chords on loop. I'm going to play C, switch to A minor, switch to F, switch to G, and then go back to C and start that sequence over again. That's a chord progression on the guitar. We would have this playing throughout pretty much the entire song. Maybe we just change our strumming pattern throughout, or maybe when the chorus comes, we change it up and have it be a little bit different, throw in a different kind of chord in there. But for the most part, we have a chord progression that's gonna stay the same throughout it in most popular pop or rock songs that we come across. And so we're gonna pair that idea of chord progressions and we're gonna get some practice of switching between chords. This is definitely gonna be for more of the beginner level here because we're picking out some pretty easy chords to play for those beginners. Um, but great practice for anyone who just wants to sound good on the guitar. Um, playing some easy chords and coming up with your own progressions, we're gonna get some practice with switching around those chords and seeing how different our progressions might sound. So let's hear our four chords. So we have our C major. All right, so here's our chord box for it. And so you're gonna see we are not playing our low E here. We're gonna skip that one and just play the five strings. All right, so we got third fret, we got second fret, we're skipping to play the next one open, and then first fret and playing this high E open as well too. So you can see it in the chord box here. So I'm using my middle finger, or sorry, no, I'm using my ring finger, middle finger, and then index finger to play those three frets. C major chord, very, very common. And our next one is gonna be an A minor chord, which here's our chord box for that as well too. Similarly to C major, we're not gonna be playing the low E. That's got the X on it, meaning we're not gonna be playing that one. We're gonna play the A string openly as the root note for our A chord. Then we're gonna be playing second fret, second fret, first fret, and that high E open, as you can see there. So I'm using my middle ring and index finger to play those for our A minor. So our next one is gonna be that G major chord. And so for G major, we are gonna be playing all six strings for this one because we can find G on the third fret of our E string. So that's gonna be our root note that we're gonna to start to play from. And then after that, we're gonna go second fret on the next string. We're gonna play these next three openly and I'm gonna have my pinky on the third fret of the high E. So all together here is my chord. Again, all six strings for that one, that's G major. And next we're gonna do F major, and we have two ways we can play this, because um, one way is gonna be as a bar chord, which you may or may not be comfortable playing, so I'm gonna give you an option that's not a bar chord as well too. But for F, we can bar this first fret with our index finger, and then we can play um, third fret, third fret, and second fret. Um, after that, so we have first fret playing right here with our bar chord, and then three, three, two, and then the last two strings get that first fret of our uh, index barring that first fret. And that is our F major. If you don't wanna play it as a bar chord, we can also play it differently. 
where instead of barring this entire thing, we can try to just use our index finger to bar just these bottom two strings, the, the, the thinnest strings here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna play second fret and third fret right there. So that's the other way to play with just the top four strings. If that's more comfortable for you, if you can't play that bar chord comfortably and have it sound clean, just go ahead and stick with this one for now. Um, I will be playing with the full bar chords. So you're gonna hear me play it like this. And so it's really the same bottom four notes. I'm just adding in these two up top for those lower strings. All right, those are our four chords. We're just gonna mix and match the order of these and practice uh, throwing in some different strumming patterns uh, and seeing how differently they might sound with these different moods we're gonna give them. All right, so I'm gonna start with the one that I think has the easiest transitions out of all of these. And that easy transition is gonna be at the beginning where we go from a C major to an A minor. If you did watch my previous video on chord progressions and, and these transition between chords, I talked about chord pairs, which are chords that have notes in common that makes the transition between them easier. And C major to A minor actually has two notes that are in common when we switch between them. So we keep those two fingers pressed down as we switch. And so our first chord progression is gonna be C, A minor, F, G. That's gonna be the loop we're gonna play. So we'll start off just playing this with open hits and moving between them, and we'll add a strumming pattern after. So C major we talked about earlier. In switching to A minor, we leave two fingers pressed, which for me that's the index and the middle finger, and we just move our ring finger to that, uh, the fret, the, the string right below our middle finger on the second fret there. And that's our transition. This one's easy. We keep two fingers pressed and just move our ring finger from this third fret up here, down two strings and over to the second fret there. Okay, that's one, that one's a pretty easy switch. Our next one is gonna be going from A minor to F, which we do have to pick everything up here and move it along. It's We're not gonna be playing this with any of the same uh, uh, fingers pressed, because I have to lift this index finger up to bar, and I'm gonna have these fingers up here to play that F chord. So I do have to lift off every synth, so this is a bit harder transition here that we're gonna have to get used to, is that A minor to F. A minor to F. So practice that as much as you need to to get comfortable with it. I'm gonna look at this last transition then put it all together. And that is gonna be that F to G. So for this one, I do have to lift up everything. It's not an easy transition. Um, so I'm gonna lift up with this index finger and go ahead and press with my other three fingers to play the three uh, frets on this that I have to. So F to G. To G, and, there the, and there's that one. So I wanna be able to put all these together. So let's go ahead and see it from the beginning. We can go nice and slowly as we get used to this. I'm gonna go from C major to A minor to F to G. So we've got, again, C major, So we wanna get comfortable with those transitions. Um, just playing them as open hits here. And try to have an even time in between each of them. So you can count out your four beats and try to have them all be evenly spaced apart before we add in a strumming pattern. So I'll count it out with us here. So one, two, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we want to go back again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And for our next step, we're going to add a strumming pattern to this. So instead of just playing these open hits, let's make it sound more musical and add a strumming pattern to it. 
And what we want to do is play this slow enough so that we can make these transitions while still staying in time. And so for our rhythm here, we're going to be doing one bar for each chord. So we want to be able to come in on the next chord right on the one. So play it at whatever speed we can. Um, so even that hardest transition of chords, you can still come in on the one on the next one. And with what we have here, I think the hardest transition is the A minor to the F. C to A minor is easy because we've got those two notes or the, those two fingers that stay planted and we're just moving one. That's the one I can move the quickest between, but A minor to F, I gotta make that bar and put my fingers up here. For me, if you're not doing it with the bar, it might be a bit easier for you on that transition. So if you are struggling moving to that bar, you can always try that other version of F we looked at as well too. Um, F to G, not the easiest, but not too hard either. So I think that A minor to F is gonna be the hardest one. So we wanna pick out what pace we can play it at so we can still make that transition and still stay in time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put up a strumming pattern here. So this is what we're gonna look at. So we can see we have a one, two, three, four. In between we have the pluses or we'll count those with ands. Uh, we have down strums on each one, two, three, four. We're gonna have one up strum between three and four. So we're gonna play one, two, three, and four. All right, so that's on C there. And we're gonna see what speed we can play these at so we can still make those transitions and come in on time. And so to work on this, you can always play with a metronome. That always helps me when I'm working on a new strumming pattern and or just a new set of chords. And so that's something you can do to just make sure you are staying in time throughout this. For me, I'm just gonna count this out though. All right, so I'm gonna count out one, two, three, and four. One, two, and just move in between each of those, okay? So I'll lead us in. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, and four. 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 One, and we're back on C like that. All right, so that was a pretty comfortable pace for me. If that was too fast for you guys to be able to make those transitions, then go ahead and uh, play them a bit slower and work on building your speed up. And we can eventually be at a place where we can play. All right, but if you're not there yet, of course, slow it down. That was just on that C to A transition as well too. So the A to F is the one you gotta work the most on for this probably. Let's go ahead and play this one more time. We'll do two loops through so we can practice with that G back to C at the beginning. So I'll count us in. Let's go ahead and play this for two loops all the way through with this strumming pattern. So one, two, here we go. And there we go. So now we've put together quite a few things. We've got our four chords. We're playing this chord progression. We're coming in nice and on time at a speed that we can handle. And we've got a strumming pattern to go along with it. So that's gonna be it for our first one. We're gonna just apply the same thing. Let's try it out with two more. I got a couple different strumming patterns we can try to do with these. And we're just gonna mix up the order of our same four chords. Um, so for this one, our order is going to be C, G, A minor, and then F. So let's go ahead and practice those with just our open hits. So C first. This C to G transition I think is pretty easy because these top two fingers here kind of stay in that same shape where we got one in the third fret, one in the second fret. They're just gonna move up this way uh, from the, the A and D strings to the E and A string. So just up like that. That's a really easy transition. Then I just gotta plant my pinky down on the third fret of that high E. And that's how that one's gonna go. I'll also with lifting up my index finger there. So here's our transition from C to G. There it is. And from G, we're gonna go to A minor. No real common notes, we just gotta pick up everything and move them on over. So here's G to A minor. 
one more time, G to A minor. Okay, and our last one is one we already did, that's gonna be A minor to F. So we did this one earlier, it's a bit tricky. A minor to F, okay? So that is one that we are familiar with. I think this is kind of similar to how the last one was where our first transition is a bit easier. Um, no fingers stay planted from C to G, but it's an easy move of just moving these two fingers up like this. Um, so we have C to G to A minor to F, and then back to C. So that last F to C, we do have one finger that stays planted, and that's gonna be our ring finger, which is staying on that C note, which is our A string on the third fret. And we're just planting our middle and our index on their spots there. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and practice this, see if we can stay in time with just our open hits, and we'll put a little strumming pattern onto this one. So, open hits. So with open hits, I'll count us in here. So remember, we are C, G, A minor to F, and here we go. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two. back there. All right, so go ahead and practice those transitions as much as you need to. Do make sure you do the F back to C because we want to be able to play this as a loop as well too. So that includes going from uh, F, that fourth chord, back to that first chord, which was C. And that's going to be it for that one. So we're going to just go ahead and put a strumming pattern onto this. I'm going to make this one a bit easier where we're not going to play even on the four. We're going to play just earlier so we get a bit more time to make the change between the chords versus on the last one we came in playing on the four and then had less time to move. This one we're going to play not on the four, but just on the one right before it, so we get a little bit more time in between. So here's my strumming pattern. Playing a bit more on these ands, but we're going to just do three down strums. We're going to do one on the one, another one on the two and, and another one on the three and. So I'll count this out all the way through with one and two and three and four and, just so you can see where they're going to go. So that's going to be like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. When I'm working on a new strumming pattern that I'm not as familiar with, I'm going to just stay planted on one chord just to, I can focus on just the strumming without worrying about what my other hand's doing. Um, so that's how I do that one. You can, again, always use a metronome, and that's really, really helpful if this is more unfamiliar for you, because you can kind of hear the spots in between the ticks on your metronome. That's where we're playing it, in between the two and the three, and in between the three and the four. So three down strums, that's it. Um, you can go ahead and hear what it's going to sound like as I move between chords here. Let's practice that. going to be that. So make sure you do have this down. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. The strumming pattern by itself. Make sure you are able to move between these chords. Practice it a bit so you can get a bit of that muscle memory in. C to G to A minor to F. If you're there, let's go ahead and put this together. I'll count us in. One, two, here we go. There we go. That is our second progression, that's C, G, A minor, F. So all we do is mix around the order of our chords from the first time. This is another common chord progression right here. And we just add a new strumming pattern to it just to see how we can change it up here. So one more left, same idea though. We're just gonna mix around the order and pick out a new strumming pattern for this one.
So this one, we're not gonna start on C, let's pick a different one to start on. We can go with A minor as our first chord, to F, which was the same thing we've been doing, that A minor to F we've been loving. There it is. Then to C, and then to G. So C to G we're familiar with, we've already done that one. Uh, F to C we've already done just in that last one, that was F on the four and then C was the first one, so we did that when we came back around and, play and started our progression again. Um, so yeah, this one should be pretty familiar. So again, just starting on A minor, to F, to C, to G. So let's go ahead and practice this in time with our open hits. I'll go ahead and count us in. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And one. Back on the A minor. All right, so that's the idea here. Just make sure you can work on those transitions here. We're going to go ahead and add our strumming pattern. Let's see what this is going to sound like. So playing with the A minor, this is our strumming pattern. All right, we are down strumming on the one, down strumming on the two, up strumming on the two and, up strumming on the three and, and down strumming on the four. So all together, we're gonna have something like this. I'll count it out with one and two and three and, and so on. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three like that. So a bit uh, faster here. That's what we're going to have here. So let's go ahead and pair that with our transitions here of our chords to come up with our chord progression. So we'll stick with this, this same strumming pattern for all of them. And let's go ahead and hear what that is going to sound like. So starting from A minor, to F, to C, to G. All right, now let's just make sure we can stick in time as we move between these. So I'll count us in, let's see how we do. One, two, here we go. And there it is, there's our full progression. So obviously you wanna always just build up your skills to playing as fast as you possibly can. So once you do have these down at this speed, go ahead and push yourself and see how fast you can go. As you get more comfortable with those chord transitions and that strumming pattern, you can always go quicker and quicker and quicker to work on improving your skills. All right, but I hope this was a good introduction into those four chord chord progressions and working on those transition between chords, applying a strumming pattern to it. This is the main idea here. We're just taking the four some of the four most common chords that we can play on guitar and just applying some of our skills to it. So you can always come up with your own order of chords that you wanna do with any chords that you're familiar with. You just wanna make sure that they are in the same key so that they do sound nice. Um, if that's something new to you, you can always just look up common chord progressions and work on your music theory along the way. But I hope this was great practice for you guys. Have fun playing and we'll see you next time.